This is the 6th of March, 2017. We're at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. Uh, we're down in the uh, pilot area. There's screens for press, a screw for press. And what we're going to be testing is a uh, sample of alfalfa. Uh, it's been uh, treated in some way. But uh, oh, I see Elizabeth is measuring the pH. And uh, Jason's outdoors. I see his shadow checking the bricks of the material. And we're going to uh, uh, run this material in a screw press here. We have a VFD to run it. We're going to run it real slow. Uh, we're not after a lot of capacity. And the screw will turn. We, used, we selected a perforated screen. This has little tiny holes, like 23 thousandths of an inch in diameter. And um, the air cylinder pushes the discharge cone. The brass thing is the discharge cone. And we're going to set that at a fairly low pressure, 15 psi. And. Um, this in. Just keep this screw barely covered. We're getting out some liquid right away, free juice. I forgot the cone open. Okay, go ahead and close the cone. There's the handle. Close that off. And um, what we're going to do is let it run, drop on the floor until it stabilizes, until we start making some press cake and uh, have a uniform level in the inlet hopper and hold our pressure constant. And uh, the cone has not started to open yet. We've just conveyed wet material to the end. And it's still dripping a little. Um, once we get dry material, that'll go away. We measured the bricks at five degrees bricks and the pH at 4.6. So it's a little bit on the acid side. And uh, screw speed is uh, 10 RPM. We slowed it down uh, quite a bit. In the inlet, this is what you see. Yeah, we're, let it work down a bit here, uh, Junior. A little. You see the screw starting to go around there as we bring down the level. I like to keep the screw covered. Go ahead, pour some more in. And the press liquor flow looks good. It's a small but steady stream. We'll make sure it doesn't blind and stop doing that. Where I see traces of cake starting to come out down there. That's because I know what I'm looking at. And this is uh, the start of the test. In preparation for this test, we uh, uh, hosed down the press real well and even swapped it out with some acid. Uh, trying to minimize any contaminants. Elizabeth is already uh, gathering some samples of the press liquor and the press cake. Uh, we've got progress. It's starting to come out. It's still coming out pretty uniformly end to end. And we're getting a little closer to making some uh, good cake. started the time test. I did lower the air pressure down to 10 psi. The cake seems to be coming out dry and I wasn't getting anything. But if I take this cake and squeeze it, I can squeeze it very hard. And you don't see a film between my fingers. My palm is barely wet. So even at 10 psi, very low air pressure, uh, we're making dry cake. We're running a time test collecting press liquor and press cake. This is the action of the press cake coming out of the press. It's slow. Might do better if I went faster instead of 10 RPM, went 20 or 30. Um, might get twice as much to go through. No, not twice as much. We triple the speed and we, we might get it quarter again or a half again to go through, but um, at least we'll know some of the 
ballpark here. We're taking this skirt up. This press has resistor teeth on the top and bottom, but uh, that looks about the same as when we started. I'll go over the other side. Here's the other side. Looks about the same. Slicker going into the pail over there and cake falling in the tub right here. This press, they're capped off, but these are uh, nozzles for injecting steam, alcohol, caustic solution, warm water, whatever you might want to run through the press while the press is operating or to clean it out after you're done. on our test where it does seven minutes 45 seconds now we've got it it's still full cool enough so at seven at eight minutes uh, this is what we've got this is the screw department uh, we have lots and lots of screws all sizes and whatnot and machine shop over here machining the screw in the uh, cone sleeve area. That's where the brass working of the cone will slide in and out on the screw. This is the assembly area. Here's a press getting started. Another one a little further along. That one's looking good. And we're still on our side. We have lots and lots of presses and crosses. These are some pretty big ones. Um, to the Philippines for doing Napier grass. That's a lot like alfalfa. And the side of another, well, another on its side. And more and more stupas. We do stupas. Uh, this is Tuesday. You can see uh, we've dried out samples uh, overnight in the oven. And um, yeah, that's what press liquor looks like. And there's what press cake looks like. And that's uh, that'll be as received material.